Smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Buffing my nails, dog. I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. If the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gon' see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pops demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang thriving together. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and hold the comments. Cause I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't toss and turn in a bed like him. Cause they don't love it. 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 I've been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't care how you feel about it. I do what I want to. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. It's not that crazy anymore. My city used to have come up. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. These lanes is upset. My peers get upstaged. The fans are upset. My city is upcoming. These people are oppressed. And I'm going to change things. I'm up at Carmichael's trying to get on the same page. I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never going to maintain because... They don't love it, 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 they don't love it. Lessons on three, two, one, get some. Look like Tex Mix is supposed to be blue. Huh. She know it's two seats, so she leave her best friends. Bust down my dad face, your chain is a necklace. On the stallion and Doja, her top half, huh? 2300 on the horse, and I'm Mike. Switching out the character, the strippers like tight. Lessons on three, two, one. You tried it. You say you love me like you love him. You lying. You know your worth for what it's worth. I could buy it. We'll say it's lonely at the top, but I'm biased. Because I'm only at the top, but you tried it. You say you love me like you love him. You lying. I 
We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Slot man moves right. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, this defense for the Bears, they were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified, but I believe them. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. An effective seven-yard third-down conversion. The Eagles at one and three here in the early part of the year. Yeah, they've lost three straight here, and it kind of goes without saying, I guess, but they could certainly use a win. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak, and right now, they're not playing their best football, but if they were to fall here... Burns fumbles it, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 42. Hurts. Pressure, and he's taken down. The Bears sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Great, great, 
Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will remain a scoreless game. I'm about to say something that seems really obvious, but you hate to see your kicker miss on the opening drive because now you're starting to wonder what goes through his head. Mm -hmm. Is that going to affect him the rest of the game? Is he going to be able to bounce back? You want to show confidence later? What's going to go on with him right out of the gate with a miss? Yeah, a chance to grab the 3-0 lead here at home. Instead, we remain scoreless. And brought down that time by Nolan Smith. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. And across the midfield, Stripe in the territory. Call it again for those who have a big play here, third in the yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Herbert. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. On first down, Fields. Open. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about his training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Second down and three. A play fake, now fields to throw. Flushed out right. That's caught by the tight end, Irm Smith Jr. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Are you me? What are you doing? Fields. complete right back in the hands of Smith. Touchdown! Berg Smith Jr., his second touchdown on the season. And the Bears post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. The point after through the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Yeah, this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. 
was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Here's second and ten. Hurts to throw. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. There he goes, left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go again with Herbert. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown Bears! Cole Komet, 28 yards. And the Bears go up by two touchdowns. Wolf on now for the extra point. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Throwing his hurts. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Yeah, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Man on the outside. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll 
will set up a throw. Oh, he's... And a loose football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Fields to commit there for a Chicago first. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. On first down, it's Fields. Short throw to Smith. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Now Fields. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Throwing again is Fields. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. the middle and he'll get this one down to about the 17 and the Bears will use their third and final timeout and with that time on the horizon they'll be out of timeouts from here forward and his kick is good and that will extend their lead even further so the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, and well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. 63, 63, 63. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. 
Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25 yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Bears come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Point after, up and good. And the lead is now 24. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Fights off the tackle at the 20. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But first down, Hurts. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. At the 35 yard line. 63, 63, 63. Second down. Here's Hertz. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he'll take it across midfield and down the 48-yard line. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Herbert now on the option. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Herbert once more. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop him behind the line for a second straight play. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Herbert. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time. 
but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Nothing in that first half. Nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. They're going to look to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now Hurt's going to move him around. They'll look to throw again. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal at the 7 yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Hurts. 
going right, and that's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. And Hertz is intercepted, his third of the game. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off, breaks through the contact. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. Well, if there was any thought that this thing might turn around for this offense in the second half, I think those thoughts pretty well dashed after that interception return there. It just has not been a good outing for this unit whatsoever. There's no other way to say it. They've been overmatched, haven't performed to the level that they've needed, and that throw there just going to contribute to this game getting out of hand. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know, do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. There he goes, left side. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller, Charles. It's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Part of hoping they hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. And quickly, they get to the line. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. And my goodness, another interception. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line.
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We're facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. First down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. 73! 73! 73! 73! Back to throw now on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that will fall incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. A handoff for Herbert. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, right back to Herbert. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. A give left side here for Herbert. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Play action. It's Fields. He'll buy some time right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open. But I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Now second and seven from the 23. Here's Hurts to throw. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that will force a turnover on downs. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. All right, I don't want to get too poetic here where they talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots, and that's what happened on that play. He saw a spot, an opening and went and got it. But he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And, Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams. And that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Throwing his hurts. And now here is another interception. And the Bears are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and ten. At the seven-yard line. 
Off play action. Fields out to his left. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. So not just a blowout win for them today, Charles, but a shutout blowout win as well. Clear. Run it back, lost everything I ever wanted, want it back, got a problem, never run from that, fun with that, get the W, then double back, 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 shit, watch how I react, fight back, stay down, now we taking off, cut the flight, promise you if any, I can't, homie, I can't, the right man, baby, I'm my own hype man, yeah, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, uh, run it back, run it back, Run it, run it, ooh, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, run it back, run it back. Uh, Bottle snap, take a photograph. Run it back, make a total runs. Run it back when I total run. I'll be back, make another back. Ultra, ultra, ultra fast. I ain't with the both the dash. Run it back, I'm running back. Face back with the shoulder pads. Run it back, watch your back. You think I want it cream, but I like it black. I might be at it. Run it back, and you see how I act. It's been a lag. Feeling like a fatal heart attack. I died for that. Stress about it. I think less without it. I'm a cat at anything that's in my psyche. Feeling myself high key. Running back. Let me have it back. I'm a cat at anything that's in my psyche. Feeling myself high key. Yes, like that, like that, like that. Solo might be right back, right back, right back. Oh, yes, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, I told her I might be right back, right back, right back.